Outside the house was a completely different ambience. It was as if they were waiting for the messenger to show up and provide them with information they so longed for. As he stepped onto the front porch, there was a drastic silence followed by inaudible murmurs. The interviewer got into his van, started driving towards the gates, conscious of the fact that the villagers would probably want to stop him and ask him questions. Luckily for him, they did not. However, amongst the villagers, one specific person's stare intrigued him. It was a middle-aged man whose gaze could not be ignored. It was as if he was able to read into the fathomless spirit of a man to constructing his mental thoughts and using them against him. Mr. Adam was not the type to joke around. He was in his forties, always bore a strict and hostile face and walked like a panther. He was both respected and feared by his people. His voice was deep enough to drill through the toughest souls. Some people say that he had psychic powers. When he spoke, people listened attentively, fearing that he would take them by surprise and involve them in the conversation exactly when their minds started to wander. As he continuously gazed at the interviewer, the latter felt compelled to push the accelerator and drive away. Mr. Adam kept looking at the van, which had already reached quite a distance, leaving behind only dust and fine particles.